now moving into new parameters on your earthly plane where that is concerned. As the energies are moving in and continue to move in, dear ones, as you now move to the center or the middle of your month of November where that is concerned, moving into the depth and breadth of the heart space more deeply where that is concerned, and allowing the energies now to solidify in your physical body and the earthly plane and your life where that is concerned. So now you can maintain and and sustain where you have ascended to within the personal self where that is concerned. And where you are ascending to on your earthly plane, the worldly plane, and the world outside of yourself where that is concerned. What has transpired, dear ones, is the energies that moved in your beginning of August through your month of September and October and now into your month of November as you are creeping into your month of November where that is concerned. The energies move deep within the depth and breadth of your chakra system, where that is concerned, into the willful body of your first chakra, dear ones, in a, and begin to, began to release all of the old, all of the old shame and judgment, all of the old wounding, where that is concerned. Uh, all of the old aspects of the old self where that is concerned. In generalities, dear one, what, trans- what these energies were proposing to do where that is concerned was to move within the depth and breadth of yourself, move within the depth and breadth of the world outside of you, and begin to dredge out all of the old and bring it to the surface where that is concerned. And that, that is what has transpired within many where that is concerned. And what has continued to transpire, and you're seeing that in the world outside of yourself where that is concerned. But you're simply creeping into your month of November where that is concerned, where the energies are, are beginning to slow down. The energies are still moving within, but they're beginning to slow down, and they will begin to come to a halt and begin to solidify uh, the energy and solidify itself in the foundation as you move to the midpoint of your month of November That is where that is concerned. And that will, will, what will transpire after that, dear ones, is the energies will remain, the angel, energies will remain in, dear one, for another year's period where that is concerned and begin to facilitate the shift facilitate the shift in the physical body. What we mean by that, dear ones, is that the energies that will move in and solidify, dear one, in and your month of November will be energies of supporting the new, energies of supporting the new you, energies of holding you in a place of the new you where that is concerned. So the energies are a support system. From, the, from your month of November, in the mid part of your month of November, the energies will now serve as a support system for the new. As the new continues to evolve, as the new you continues to evolve, it will allow yourself to become a self-supporting individual utilizing these energies that will remain from, the mid, from ni- your mid-November of 2000. 20 into your mid-November of 2021 where that is concerned. So it is a step-by-step process, a slow process, as each and every one of you can see from a personal standpoint where that is concerned, the process that it has taken for you to evolve into the spiritual being that you are now living a multi-dimensional experience where that is concerned. And that is part and parcel of what these energies were geared to do where that is concerned. Releasing the old dense vibration that resolved in you, resided in you where that is concerned, so you can move into a light being. So you can move into a being of light where that is concerned and release the dense, low vibrational energy that still resided in your physical body, which is why the energies moved in and moved into and began in the first chakra, then moved itself up, where now many are now residing in their heart space where that is concerned and differentiating between the wounded child and the adult where that is concerned. And what you're seeing mirrored outside of you, dear, are remnants of the wounded child being portrayed to you where that is concerned. So what is most important to understand now as you move into the, mid- the November, the month of November where that is concerned, things are beginning to slow down a bit where that is concerned. They're slowing down within the depth and breadth of you where that is concerned because now you're slowing down and moving into the beingness of you. As we have said to you many, many times before, dear ones, many now are realizing that it is more important or most important in being who you are than you're doing, than you're speaking. Demonstrating in the fiber of your beingness who you are 
as opposed to constantly having to do to prove who you are. And that is shifting and changing for many where that is concerned. You are moving through cracking the ego mask, releasing the ego mask, and in many ways deconstructing your defense system. So when these energies began, when these energies began, dear one, in your month of August, where that is concerned, it was the beginning of the deconstructing of your, ner- of your nervous system and a deconstruction of your defense system. So what is transpiring now is many are realizing that their defense system is no longer needed. When you deconstruct the defense system, dear ones, which deconstructs the nervous system, dear ones, you begin to move into a full beingness of who you are, of knowing who you are, of honoring and valuing who you are, and simply being it. No longer needing to do to prove who you are. You are finding in many ways, dear one, that you no longer need to speak incessantly outside of yourself because now the energy is shifted where you no longer need to push any energy away from yourself. You are moving into a more solidified place of self-intimacy and releasing the fight for separation and isolation. As we have said to you many, many times before, dear ones, it is creating a new collective consciousness. But it begins with yourself. These energies that moved in and began moving in in your month of August through September and October and are now slowing down that will begin to come to a halt in mid-November and be utilized as a support system that will begin the, new fo- begin the new foundation or the creation of the new foundation of a collective consciousness. As you look at yourself, dear ones, look and see if you still need to do to prove to others who you are. Look to see if you've grown inside the depth and breadth of you that you now can be who you are. You're honoring and valuing yourself more deeply. So you're moving into a greater collective consciousness within yourself. The consciousness of love. The consciousness of value. The consciousness of intimacy. You see, dear ones, this period of time from August through September and October allowed yourself to move into a greater depth of intimacy within yourself that you have never known. Facing the depth and breadth of your wounding, facing the depth and breadth of your defense system, facing the depth and breadth of who you thought you were, facing the depth and breadth of shame, facing facing the depth and breadth of judgment of self. All of that coming into your consciousness and realizing that it is simply the wounded child. And now being able to differentiate between the wounded child and the adult, moving into a full place of acceptance and compassion for where you are, what has transpired in your life, and then in turn looking out into the world with more acceptance and compassion of where others are in their process of life, releasing the need to project out into the world what they should be, what they should be doing, and realizing that as you, they are doing the best they can based upon the tools they have garnered and where they are in the process of their personal life and their personal well-beingness. Each and every one of you are now moving to a new place of personal well-beingness. And as each and every one of you who have undertaken and allow these energies to move within with a consciousness awareness of what is transpiring will now be able to move out into the world emanating the light-filled energy of who they are. Emanating without needing to discern what steps you need to take so you will be loved. Because you have now moved to a greater place inside the depth and breadth of you of self-love, of self-awareness, of self consciousness of who you are. So now you can release being what others thought you should be. 
Release being what you think others would love. Release being something and someone that you're not. And moving into a place of fully being who you are in the depth and breadth of your heart space. And as you do this, dear ones, you can begin to separate yourself from the low, dense vibrational energy of the third dimensional realm. In many ways, dear ones, looking now, and as we've asked you many, many times before, simply looking out in the world and asking yourself once again, does this resonate for me or doesn't it resonate for me? And now, perhaps, as we say this to you now, you are realizing what that means. The only way in which you can realize what that truly means is if you shift it inside of yourself to know that what resonates for you is what resonates for you. Many now, through this process that began at the beginning of your month of August through this month of November, have shifted and changed their resonance and vibration and are ascending within themselves, releasing their attachments to the third dimensional realm. Many now, in this process are detaching themselves from the third dimensional realm, realizing and moving to a multi-dimensional experience that they could observe what is transpiring in the world outside of themselves, use what is transpiring in the world outside of themselves to move deeply in and begin to solidify the depth and breadth of the truth of their beingness and who they are. And we, we have said this to you many, many times before. You're year of 2020 is a year of seeing untruths and the truths and the illusions within yourself and in the third dimensional realm. Through this process that began in August and is moving through your month of November, your personal illusions of who you thought you should be have been revealed. You are now moving into the depth and breadth of the beingness of who you are. And now through that beingness of you, who you are, detaching yourself from what you no longer need to attach yourself outside of yourself. Moving into a self-knowingness in the depth and breadth of your adult space of who you truly are and who you are being. Each and every one of you now, we ask you to look at how much you are actually doing in the world outside of yourself, and how much of you are being you. It may be new for each and every one of you. Very interesting, you might say. Very interesting, you might say. I'm not quite sure what is going on, but I'm finding a wonderful solitude of beingness within myself. We will say that again. A solitude of beingness within myself, integrated among those outside of myself, without the need to fight for my isolation and separation because I shame and judge me. The fight is over, dear ones. You no longer need to fight for anything, much less fight for yourself. Proving is no longer a viable response any more, dear ones. Move into your beingness. Moving into the depth and breadth of who you are and let that energy emanate out in the world through the beingness of you. Oh.